So there is a lot going on on my bed right now. First things first, maybe Quiet Boy? You want to talk about Quiet Boy? Sure. Okay, so last night, not last night, Friday night. Friday night we went and we saw Quiet Boy. Um, what, what do we think about Quiet Boy, Joy? Good show. Was it your favorite play you've seen? No. But I thought it was good. I liked it. I, I didn't dislike it. I, did, I didn't dislike it and I didn't just feel mad about it. Like, I liked it fine. I, I don't know. I, did, I, I can see why it was um, extended. Extended. Yeah. Because it's important. Yeah, it's important. It isn't much like it on Broadway now and it's nice to see like a whole bunch of brown guys on stage. Black guys. Black guys, you know, and the issues, you know, that it talks about and I'm glad we saw it, so I re I like the music the music bits. Yeah. Like the, the choir parts. The choir parts were really um, nice. They all sounded really nice when we saw it. They did. There was a debate during the show who has the better voice and I'm just kind of like um you all have nice voices you all have nice voices <laughs> like girls girls are all pretty like I don't know and um I thought the set was nice they did utilize that small space very well it was a very small stage they, it was good I liked the set uh the only thing that drew me off about the show was the scene change music. Like, what do you mean? Like the music they use to change the scenes. Uh -huh. like, it's kind of. I don't know. I felt like it would have been better. You don't if think they, it matched the, the yeah, show? Yeah, I don't think it matched the show. Like, I think it would have been better if they just did like acapella bits to them, like creating sounds with their voices hmm. to change it. You know, that would have been nice. I didn't have partic partic oh my goodness, it's so loud outside. Um, I didn't have particular uh, uh feelings about the scene change music. I thought it sounded a bit fuzzy uh, maybe when we saw it. Um I don't know if that's because we were up high. Maybe. And it has that dome. But would that affect like the fuzzy sound? I don't, think so. I don't know, it just didn't sound as clear like the scene change music. But I would say for play, it was a drama, yes? I don't think it would be considered a drama. It, was, it wasn't considered a comedy. No. I don't know. Maybe that's what's kind of like not mm -hmm. driving with me. Because when I see like a drama. Oh, school's closed. oh, wow. Oh, wow. No work for us. No work for us. <laughs> um, um, maybe mom wants to come talk about Quiet Boy. You want to see? Um. Maybe, yeah, not. maybe not. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll catch you at another show. Yeah. But. I'll be back. Wait a minute. You can keep going. You can keep talking. I'll be back. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say, like, when I go see a play, if it's a drama, I need it to be dramatic. And I mean, I want to be clutching my pearls. Not to say Quiet Boy didn't have those moments, because there were a few moments where I was like, uh oh. Okay, this is what's happening. But, um, and then when I see a comedy, like, I need to be, um, almost, like, trying really hard not to laugh. Like, being really aware of, like, not making a fool of myself with my laughing. And I felt like, with, with Choir Boy, it never quite got so serious to me. And it never quite got, like, super funny. Quiet boy, right? Yeah. I don't... Again, it's just my opinion. It's just my opinion. Mm -hmm. But... What was funny was funny. And what was serious was pretty serious. And I thought the boy who played, um... But I was saying, when I, I felt like, um... I needed it to have one extreme or another. Oh. Uh, well... For me. I mean, I guess you can say that about Eclipse, too. Although Eclipse was a lot more dramatic than it had comic, comedic parts. See, but usually in Eclipse, when they, in a drama, uh -huh. the comedy comes from one place. Uh -huh. Like, one person. person. Uh, you know okay. what I mean? 
Yeah. But I, I didn't know that, um, what's his name? Uh, now I can't think of his name. Let me find it. Uh, what's his name from? From what, Pose? Yeah. Jamal somebody? Is that his name? I don't know. I don't remember his I can't find it. I think maybe he went too far. Hmm. What was his name in the show? Now I can't remember. He wasn't one of the main boys. Ah. I think he's on the... Hmm. Where is he? J. Quentin Johnson? Maybe. No, that's not him. Mm. Quick, someone... It has to say pose somewhere. Mm-hmm. Anywho, I know mom's mom's for it. And I was like, oh, he's in here. He's not on the poster. No. Oh, which I'll bring that. I'll show that. What? What was anyway? The guy from Pose who plays what's his name on Pose now? Now I can't remember his name. Damon. 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 He he was in the show. We actually staged door it a little bit. Not really. Didn't stay too long. We got one. I got a few signatures. You got one signature on the on the poster. Oh, just one. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't. I got a couple on the. The playbill. We were very tired. And yeah. But. It wasn't crowded. These doors. Me and were coming out. At work, so. No. But. What I was still going to say was. He, he came out. From Pose. He ran out. He, he ran out. Yeah. That was a run out. He zoomed out. He had his hood up. With his nice yellow jacket. So I don't know if he was trying to be incognito. But not in a yellow jacket. No, it's fine. Yeah. No, they don't owe us that. They did their yeah. their jobs. <laughs> I'm sure he has things to do. But yeah, we still quiet boy. So probably I don't know what the next show we're gonna see is. Uh, oh, waitress. It, it probably either be waitress. Yeah. With probably. Shoshana Bean, cause Shoshana Bean's coming back to Broadway. Yeah. Unless we go rush something before then, but I'm not quite sure. You know. Tomorrow would be a good day to rush, mm-hmm. except for that nobody's open on Monday. Waitress is open on Monday. No, we're, we're waiting to see Shoshana. Waitress, we're waiting to see Shoshana. But I think Chicago might be, but it's gonna be nasty tomorrow. That's how school is closed. Yeah, that's why it's a good day to go see shows. Yeah. <laughs> no one's gonna be out. Yeah. You get my, you might have some elbow room. Oh, that's another thing. The um. I, you know, I almost called it the Biltmore. It's not the Biltmore anymore. The Samuel J. Friedman Theater is extremely tight. Just FYI, if anyone tall is watching this, mm-hmm. get an aisle seat. Yeah. So the seats in the in the back on the right, the three seats in the last row on the right mm-hmm. row have a lot more leg room than everywhere mm-hmm. else. So that might be something. I'd have to look at my Jitney ticket to give you the exact. See. Oh, I opened the binder not to show this playbill, cause but to put the maybe this video is getting a little long, but we have some time. It was a good Let me, show. It's, it's important. Cool. It's important. It's important. It was a good show. It's... Nope, that's a ticket, and it showed all my information. Cool. I mean, the receipt. Yes. I'm putting the receipt in the binder. Um. Now I'm putting this in upside down. You know? I'm just going to sh- put it like so for now. And I'll go back and fix it later. But yeah. Oh, what we say we're going to see? So we might see Waitress. Um, um, we want to see um, Be More Chill. Um, Oklahoma's coming. We want to see that. Um, we got to see Avenue Q before it leaves. Um, we've been wanting to see Adam and Q probably since 2004, no lie. We've been listening to the cast recording for that long. 2004. Probably not 2004. Like Maybe 2007. And, you know. Not even no, before then, because when we used to watch um, The Road to Broadway, when it used to come on Showtime or something like yeah. that. Um, we'll say 2005, yeah. yeah. They're going to hear you smacking in the video eating that candy. I'm sorry. It's okay. Um... Yeah, so that was Quiet Boy. Um, and then we want to see Waitress. 
right? That's what we're talking about. I keep losing my train of thought. Uh, uh, I wish we got... I want the other prom. Like, I do like the other prom playbill with the white background and the illustrations. But this one's cute, I guess. Yeah, I like that. It's gold. Yeah. Okay. Um... You want to get the prom show pack. Oh, which reminds me, speaking of show packs, we went and we picked up some more. We went to Theater Circle because we had time, right, to kill before the show started. But also, I had, I had an email and I can swore it said that the prom packs would be at Theater Circle. Did uh -huh. it not? Uh-huh. Maybe it's not at that one. Maybe it's at the other location. No, it's at the one at 44th. Yeah. I can't remember. Anywho, yeah. So, I went because I was like, I don't, I don't want to wait for my, you know, packs to come in. I would just go and I'll pick up my own, right? The only downfall of that is what I don't get a thank you card from Squigs. I love getting those things. But, um, we, we get there and, um, the lady's like, huh? What? I don't know. I don't know about that. And I was like, well, bummer. But we just picked up two more of these. Because remember, last time we got a lot of duplicates when we when we got it. Joe, you want to come hold the camera for me? Thank you. So, here we have a Mike Nichols, who I'm pretty sure we have him. A oh, George, better light over here. Okay. A George Salazar. Yeah, I had a good vantage. You can sit if you want. That's fine. Um, Elise Silverman. Is she related to? Probably not. I thought she was related to um Sarah Silverman, but I don't think so. No, Sarah's sister's name is not. Is not, right? Mm -mm. I know they voice Andy and Ollie on Boss Burgers. Mm -hmm. um, Teal Wicks, which yeah. is new for us. So these three are new. This is why on for George. We have a Stephanie already. Spot on for Stephanie too. Yeah. It looks like it looks like her. It looks like Taylor, yeah. Um, we have a Bobby. Can you see? Yep. Um, he's new. Austin. He's new. I like Moises. his colors too. I like his colors too. He's new. That looks like Caesar so much. Caesar. Caesar. I mean, Caesar. he pronounces it Caesar. Yeah, because it's not. The, the actor AU, mm -hmm. um, and um, John Jellison. I think we have. Did we just get him? We have a John one, I think. Yeah. Anywho, so those are new show cards that we picked up. Our prom packs ship today. Woohoo! Mm -hmm. So we should get them sometime early next week. We'll make a video. We'll make a video. I'm excited about those. Like I got super excited when I saw, when I saw that video that they showed. I was like, I need it. I need it. I need it right away. And then I think that might have been it. I was going to put them in the binder, but no one has time to show that. Nah. But thanks for watching and hearing us lament on Quiet Boys. Um, Not lament. We didn't bash it. We yeah, weren't complaining about it. That's a wrong it. choice of words. Yeah. Well, thanks for hearing Just our thoughts. Our thoughts. Our, um, us discussing Quiet Boy. Yeah. So if you're in the city or near the city and can go see it before it closes, I think it closes March 10th. Yeah. Yeah. I would go see it. It is a good show. You will like the music. The story is important, and it was just a nice... They gave great performances. Yeah, it was just a nice evening out, so go see it. Yep, bye. Bye.